practice on your own and just start out with the technique of rubbing your hands together and you kind of accessing the chi. Hello beautiful creatures, welcome to my channel. I am Aradia the Witch of Dark Light and I hope you all are doing well. This is a little magic talk video where I share with you some things that are going on in my life. Most of the time it is all things magic, the occult, esoteric things that I want to share with you. Every now and then it may be something mundane <laughs> but for the most part the magic talk videos are just a time where I sit down and kind of just get things um, that are circling around in my head out that I want to share with you. So this video I'm going to be talking about some of my morning practices, what I do to prepare for ritual, the things that raise my vibrations and um, before I do spells or ritual. Also talk about incense and you know my my special blend and talk about why and some of the ingredients and how they were used you know in history. So I want to share some of these things with you. So um, this is a magic talk video and there will be some b-roll but if you want to just listen feel free to do so podcast style. So what I'm finding before I get into this video, since this is a magic talk video and I'm sharing with you things that are on my brain, what I'm finding out is the more practice I get out, the more I share with you guys, the more I post on YouTube, it is becoming easier for me to um, be more natural, be more myself, because a lot of times I... And there's nobody here but the camera, and but I know what's going to happen after I post. It's going to be like a bunch of people watching the video. But even sometimes when I started this journey posting on, on YouTube, the camera would make me nervous. And I would feel like, you know, I would have to just come correct. And it kind of, it would take me out of the natural flow of things. So I'm finding now the more that I um, post on YouTube, it's helping me be able to verbalize a lot of the things that I want to talk about. First thing I want to talk about is my daily morning ritual practice now through experience i i remember when i wanted to do this elaborate morning ritual practice daily um that wasn't smart because you want to do something that you're able to do if you're on you know when things are hectic when you have a lot of things to do and you know time is limited so you want to try to create some kind of practice that is, you know, use a little wisdom. What I typically do, and this can, you can add to this if and when you have the time. But for the most part, this is what I do. I spend a few minutes each morning doing these things. However, like I said, when you have the time, I sometimes shift and add things or make it more elaborate. But this is the basic foundation of what it is that I do. I'll wake up in the morning. The first thing I do is I go put my phone in the charger. But I wake up in the morning and, and try not to look at it, but that's always a fail, right? I'll go and I don't typically stand at like a, a my main altar or I have altars. I'm not going to say main altar, right? I have altars throughout the home. And for me, what that altar may look like is this is the place where you'll find that I burn this candle or like this incense. And over time, it has built this energy for in this area of my home. What I typically do is in the living room, I'll start out by saying my prayer to the ancestors, spirits, and guides, and gods of old. And as I'm saying my prayer, I will light some incense or Palo Santo. Um, and I'll light that incense. And as I'm saying the my prayer um, and whatever that looks like, it's usually giving thanks. It's usually um, th um, giving thanks for protection and uh, thanks for having insight and and hearing the messages um, that 
they are sending my ancestors spirits and guides all of those things and as i'm doing this i'm walking around and kind of spreading the incense just to raise the vibration throughout the home through aroma so after i do that i will then play some music um, and the music, most of the time, if you know anything about me, is uh, more instrumental. And the, this is going to be the type of music. And it, it, it shifts, like I said, you know, energy shifts. So some days I may feel led to play something that's just very uh, calm and meditative. And other times this deep, dark, <laughs> folkloric, uh, mystical magic uh, music. But whatever that looks like, I'll turn the music on um, to kind of just raise the vibration throughout the home. And then I will go and make me either coffee or tea and do this intentionally because you take every moment, every little thing that you can do, you take that moment to make it magical. So I'll either, while I'm making my coffee or tea, most of the time it's coffee, I'm trying to steer myself away from that into some more healthier um, drinks, but that's another topic. So while I'm making my drink, I will stir with intention that as I'm drinking this, I, my spirits are uplifted, um, raising the vibration and all those things. Just setting the intention for the day. So I'll sit while the music is on and uh, just drink my cup of coffee and take that moment to be meditative. Now, um, if you are on the go, because you know I work from home, you may not be able to do all of this before you go out the door to work, which is why like, you don't have to add that ritual moment of the coffee drinking but uh you know as soon as you get up saying that quick prayer and lighting that incense can absolutely be something that you can do right before you go out the door to work so that is typically what my morning starts off with and then throughout the day i may think about uh, using tuning forks um, and using a crystal bowl or um, different things like that Whatever I feel like needs to be aligned, um, just all of those things shift each day. But the general part um, that I just mentioned it kind of stays the same each day. What I do to raise my vibration before casting spells, before... Um, any kind of ritual magic and even uh, for meditation right what i typically do is i first acknowledge the fact that i need to get in a state to be calm so what that looks like is a uh, breathing you know a little breathing technique and a little just you have to take at least that minute to recognize the moment that you are in and recognize if there's anything that needs to be removed or cleared away for you to be in that moment. So once that's done, you know, my, my raising my vibrations and preparing for ritual is pretty much the routine that I do for my morning daily ritual practice because this is all about raising your vibration. So I'll sit and I will, it's music for me is just key. So I'll have my music playing and it is always without the words because I don't need, you know, I want to hear words and not have anything influence what it is that I may be hearing. So I will sit and to further raise the vibration, you, what I had to learn to do is to acknowledge chi, what prana and chi feels like. Because a lot of times, if you don't feel this, you won't understand the importance of vibration and, and why we are raising it and how to raise it. How I, I learned what chi and prana feels like and what it is 
you know, I had to start out with that simple uh, thing that they practice with, you know, rubbing together, igniting it, and, and, and filling um, that energy ball, creating that energy ball, feeling what that may feel like as you pull away. But you spend time practicing knowing what that feels like. And after going through learning Reiki and becoming Reiki master, learning tuning forks, going, you know, going to school for that, learning all of these things that have to do with those vibrational energies and directing the energies, it helped me understand what chi and prana is. But you don't have to do that. You can absolutely practice on your own and just start out with the technique of rubbing your hands together and you kind of accessing the chi by, by heat and friction. And once that's done, you will be able to feel what that chi is like. And that is the energy that you are raising through other forms of techniques like the music and uh, vibrational sounds through tuning forks and crystal singing bowls and, and, and what have you. So this is important for me. These are the things that I do to cast magic because the higher my vibrations are, the higher, what is higher vibrations? The more I am connected to the higher conscious, the higher realms, the otherworldly realms, the more I'm, I'm connected to that, the more my magic is, you know, it has a better chance to manifest in the way that I want it to manifest. And also, because it aroma for me is a very big part. And I've um, shared with you guys that I create this incense that I call the incense of the gods. I want to talk a little bit about that. <clears throat> so the main incense that I use within the ingredients for my incense of the gods and a few other things, but I typically always, it's a staple, I use frankincense and myrrh. And now I um, have the addition of copal resin. But frankincense, the ancient Egyptians used this because they, they knew. When you look in uh, Bible history or through ancient uh, history and ancient cultures, they used frankincense. Frankincense was this uh, wealthy, rich resin. And how they used it was primarily for purification and uh, ritual ceremony. They also use the myrrh for purification and e embalming. So how they use these resins when it came to funeral rites and embalming uh, with for their purification um, properties was they infused the the wrappings, the cloth, with uh, frankincense and resin and wrap the bodies in this because they felt this helped purify and preserve the bodies. Now, when you bring it on down to like the Catholic church and other churches, like the Coptic church, you see them walking around and I forget what they call it. There's a name for it. I, I even have one of them where you put the incense in and you see them walking around um, just spreading incense in this little thing. Smoke's coming out. It looks very ceremonial. And what they typically are using is frankincense and myrrh. They add other things to it, like maybe more woodsy uh, aromas, but the general main components, because this is something that the ancients used, was frankincense and myrrh. Um, because they, it's it's several things that it's doing. It's it's purifying the 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 space, and then it's also uh, raising the vibration. So this is why my favorite instances are um, 
frankincense and myrrh, the, this is why I call it the incense of the gods. Because this is not just something that I feel. This is something that the Catholic Church feels. This is something that um, uh, ancient e Egypt feels. So in, in, in many more uh, religions and um, churches that when lighting incense or using incense to cleanse, this is a lot of what they use. So what my blend looks like right now is the frankincense and myrrh. And I also um, added the copal, copal um, like I said. And the Arabic, I don't have it in front of me. Um, and I forget the name. I will put it on the screen. But I add, I recently, that at first the smell was overwhelming. When you get the box, you open it up, and it's like, woof. But using a little bit um, of it within the incense just added that extra like oomph to it. So this is the incense that I use that I call the incense of the gods. Um, so I use frankincense, myrrh, copal, and the other one that I can't think of the name of right now. But you'll know because it'll be on the screen when I edit this video. So these are just some things that I've been thinking about that I wanted to share with you. Um, the video is probably not going to be that long because I have been posting on YouTube more often. So I've been getting things off my chest that I wanted to share with you. But this is the magic talk that I wanted to share with you. And if you made it this far, which is, this is my new thing now, I guess. If you made it this far... Put in the comments, incense of the gods. I love this incense and I am currently working on products to put in um, on my website. This is going to be one of them so that it can be available for whoever doesn't want to go out and buy all of each of these things, but they just want the incense of the gods. Um, so I will have that coming soon. So watch out for that. I will have that along with um, ritual oils on my website coming soon. So until the next video, I love you all and into the shadows.